Hi Scorpio, welcome to your week ahead taroscope with me Raphael from Radiant Reality. It's an absolute pleasure to have you, thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for joining me. <sighs> if you are a continued subby, you know Raphael loves you and if you um, bleh. Hi Scorpio, welcome to your week ahead taroscope with me Raphael from Radiant Reality. It's an absolute pleasure to have you, thank you so much for being here, thank you so much for joining me. Quick note, these readings are for your sun, moon and ascendant signs, so whether you're a sun, moon or rising sign Scorpio, this is for you. And I always advise that you watch all three to get a clearer, more complete picture of how they speak to you. With that said, if you are a continued subby, you know Rafi loves you. And if you are new to my channel, please don't forget to like, share, and if you should so choose and it resonates, hit that subscribe button. Before we start, as always, I would like to bless my deck of cards with all forms of love, light, peace, prosperity, and abundance. And I pray that the messages that come through are ultimately clear and concise and they help you on your path to your highest vibrational good. So your key to the week this week, <coughs> excuse me, is the temperance card right and so in a lot of ways temperance is all about where you're pro where you're where and how your process of alignment is taking place but it can also be uh really sometimes where you're having to play what i call piggy or what we here in the uk call piggy in the middle you know one of you stands in the middle and you have to play sort of this week it may be that someone or something tries to draw you into some unnecessary drama maybe it's something that actually has nothing to do with you how you proceed with that is going to be everything. The other thing with the temperance card, it can and does very often represent people that work in the healing professions in some way, shape or form. So if you are one of those people or you know one of those people, they may be featuring in your world in some way, shape or form this week. For your actions and options, you have the Ace of Wands. You are ready, my dear Scorpios, to get started on whatever that new thing is. This usually tends to be some sort of action that we are taking. Uh, very often it's some sort of create in, creative endeavor. This can be books, writing, music, uh, all of those kinds of things. The fact that it comes up opposite the Temperance card means that something that you have been formulating behind the scenes, something that you've been working on or towards, or maybe even an opportunity that you haven't spoken to anybody about, it's like this week the iron is hot. You are ready to strike out or off in a new direction. You are ready to go in for something and not, and really just like not hold yourself back. One of the things that I love about the Ace of Wands is it's fun, it's sexy, it's creative, it's energetic, it's passionate. And this suggests that this week you have the chance to really put some of those qualities into action in some way, shape or form. For your communications and conversations, you have the magician card, right? Beautiful. So not only are you a master magician this week, not only are you communicating very well, but you are manifesting as you speak this week, right? So check your alignment. Where is your energy? Where is your thought process? What are you creating more of? Um, this is not a week as well, and I, I don't say this all the time, but it is something that I'm very often conscious of for myself. This is not a week to say things in jest. I'll give you an example. When we were, when I say we, me and my siblings, when we were 14, we knew a boy called Luke who broke his neck. Now, I'm not saying that this person caused it, but literally two minutes before that, he was practicing tricks on his bike and his cousin just said to him, oh, don't do that because you're gonna fall and break your neck. Not two minutes had passed and it was bad. It was really bad. Um, this week, be very conscious of the words that come out of your mouth, especially because you've got that temperance card here and you've got the magician. Don't say things in jest. Oh, you know, <laughs> you're gonna slip and break your arm this is not stop saying that <laughs> this is not the week for it okay you've got to be really conscious of the things that you speak and where your alignment your intention and your energy are this week scorpio with great power comes great responsibility and you are literally one of the most powerful signs of the zodiac this week with this combination of cards you need to check yourself right speak life speak love, speak wonder, speak abundance, speak happiness into your wishes, your dreams, your hopes, and those of everybody that you come into contact with. 
even the people that you dislike or that you have challenges with this week, you got to find a way to circumvent that because the wrong thought, the wrong speech, the wrong whatever could have some seriously disastrous consequences. And I know a lot of people out there are probably like, okay, Raf's gone off on a woo-woo tangent here, but I know what I know. I've seen what I've seen. That's, that's the message, all right? Now, outside of that, you are a master communicator. Remember the magician card is about getting ahead. It's about reaching that top spot and not being held back by anyone or anything. For those of you that work for somebody else, this is a great week where you could be rubbing shoulders with a very powerful person. You might be connecting with somebody from a distance. You might be connecting with somebody in a different department that really sees your potential. However, remember the magician card can represent persons of authority. The temperance card, I already talked about this being, you know, uh, being bought into crap that really doesn't have anything to do with you. I would say to you, just be very careful this week about getting into stuff that has nothing to do with you. Not my monkey, not my crowd. Um, for those of you that work for yourselves, business owners, entrepreneurs, this is lovely, right? Really, what do you want? If you had a magic wand, <laughs> What would you choose to create this week? Speak life into those dreams and hopes. If you've got people that work for you, have a team meeting this week. Get them fired up. Get them passionate about what your vision for the business or where it's going to go is. This is the week to have that conversation where you light a fire under everybody's tushy, including your own, right? <laughs> he said tushy. <laughs> uh, sorry, couldn't resist. Um, <laughs> For those of you that are retired or no longer working, work on your spiritual self. Build your spiritual practice. Create a spiritual practice. If you haven't got any, find one. Find one that actually does resonate with you, that does speak to you in some way, shape or form. For your money and materials, you have the Emperor card. So your boss, in some way, shape or form, if you have one, your boss is going to feature this week. Um, I'm going to be really honest with you. With this combination of cards, things might get heated. You might hear something or see something that really gets under your skin this week. You've got to find a way to deal with it, right? Um, and find a way to circumna circumnavigate or circumvent that energy. Um, I'm a big fan of doing things like that. When people send me that kind of ill will or they come at me in a certain way, I'm like, yeah, I'll take that. I'll transmute it and I'll put it out because I can do that, right? Um, if I want to give it back to them, I'll do the same thing <laughs> and I'll send it back to wherever it came from. This week, you gotta find a way to do that that doesn't involve shouting, swearing, cursing, or cussing, right? You, you gotta be smart, you gotta be on it. You are a very intelligent sign, you're a very hardworking sign, and you're a very deadly sign, quite frankly, when you get going, so just be aware. Now, when it comes to your money, honey, the emperor is brilliant, right? It suggests that this week there are chances to get ahead. There are opportunities to get ahead. Some of these might come up spontaneously. They might come up uh, adjacent to whatever is going on for you at this moment in time. But your money is all but assured. But this week it looks like you're trying to figure out a way to emancipate yourself from the system. Whether that system is work, whether it's the government, blah, 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 whatever it might be. For uh, your physical health and vitality, your noggin, you gotta look after your, your, your head, uh, ears, nose, throat, all of that sort of stuff. This week, pay attention to, especially because you've got the magician card here, which is Mercury ruled. Uh, for those of you that work with the voice, that the voice, I mean, the voice is important for all of us, but for those of you specifically that work with speaking and stuff, this week you've got to look after it. Uh, you know, throat lodzinge, you know, all of that sort of stuff. Um, for me, it's oregano oil swear by the stuff. Uh, one of my friends called it Satan's Tears, <laughs> which I found hilarious. Um, and I kind of get why he says that, because yeah, it's not the great tasting, but it's really brilliant stuff. Anyway, that said, for your home and environment, for some of you, again, it does look like you're trying to figure out how do I work more from home or how do I work for myself? That is coming more and more for a lot of you, I believe. And then for your love and relations, you have the five of pentacles. So for those of you that are single, sorry to say this doesn't look like the week for love. Um, especially if there's somebody that you work with that you've been, you know, kind of feeling out, eke, eke, eking out. Um, just be careful that any work-based or place relations, connections or partnerships 
aren't going to work against you in a way that you're not necessarily aware of. Uh, and then for those of you that are partnered or in relationships, it looks like this week the finances take a hit, right? So whatever you're spending on, whatever you're having to put money into, it looks like the longer term results will be great. Um, but in the here and now, it's kind of like, oh, you know, we, that, that's our savings. That's what we put aside for A, B and C. They're being eaten up by something, but it looks like it's a worthy investment. All right, with that said, I wish you an abundance of all of that good stuff. Have a fantastic week. Let me know in the comments how it shapes up. Take care and I'll see you soon.